when I say bananas, you say peppers. Also, please don't be concerned for me. I know that my eyes are red. I know it looks like I've been like crying blood. Don't worry, I'll save that trick for later. As much as I love wearing red and pink eyeshadow, it doesn't matter like what brand it is, my eyes will always be like super red and almost like stained the next day. So fear not, I'm totally okie dokie. Today we're gonna be doing something that I am very excited about. I feel like it's kind of one of our go-to type of videos to make on banana peppers, but I am maybe more excited for this one. Anyway, today we're gonna be opening up a bag that you guys, I don't even know how long this has been sealed. I, I, I don't even wanna venture a guess, more than 10 years. I will tell you the truth. I thought that this was something that I lost a couple of years ago in Hurricane Harvey. I had a storage unit that had a lot of items in it from high school and college, like random stuff like bags and things that I had used when I was in school and clothing. And honestly, I don't even know. I don't even know what I 100% lost and what got squirreled away in a closet somewhere. But my dad found this for me today. So I haven't even told you guys yet. Today we are gonna be looking at my super old camera bag. Now, this may seem really, really random to you guys, which fair enough, uh, because I realize now I've only said this thought this video concept in my mind, and I haven't told you guys on any channel yet, but no, maybe I did, because I feel like I briefly talked about 35 millimeter film the other day. I just don't know if you guys have seen that video yet. I filmed it, I just haven't put it out yet. I started seeing, I think it like sprang, is that a word, sprung? I sprung from bread. I have seen this trend kind of coming back, and I think it's because like last year, everybody for whatever reason remembered that like disposable film cameras are a thing. And I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of thought that film was just completely out. I don't think you can just take a roll of film to like CVS or Walgreens anymore and get it developed. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, I've always loved cameras. So all through high school and really in my first couple of years in college, I was really big into not only just shooting a ton of film photos and like getting them developed, but I was also really into the whole like dark room side of it which now my brain has turned into a mushy potato. So I just look at stuff like this and I'm like, how was I ever doing this? How was I ever doing that? I don't think I could like develop a roll of film now myself to save my life. I couldn't do it. Maybe I could be retaught and do it again. Anyway, this all started honestly for me, the passion. Does anyone care about this story? I was browsing on Etsy the other night as I do, for like 80s and 90s like fashion stuff is mostly what I was looking for. As I was browsing, I saw people on Etsy selling expired rolls of film. Why does that concept intrigue me so much? Why do I wanna shoot expired rolls of film? I have no idea. So I started like literally looking into getting a 35 millimeter camera which is bonkers, because I knew I had one. So anyway, we're gonna open this. We're gonna see in what condition my 35 millimeter camera is. Hopefully I can just pop some film in there. Is there gonna be film in this bag? I don't know. This longest intro ever. This is like a time capsule. I have opened the bag, step one. I was hoping it was gonna smell. Why am I trying to smell chemicals? I'm like just trying to sniff chemicals. I was hoping it would like remember, <laughs> pull up some sort of like dark room memory for me. Right on top, which this was my dad's vintage camera strap. So here indeed is my old 35 millimeter camera. It feels slightly sticky. I don't know why. How odd is it to have a camera without a viewfinder on it? So this one is still digital. Cause I always hated that honestly, like loading in the film and then just like trying to get it to latch and not having like numerical confirmation. So this is some sort of, can oh, Canon EOS Rebel G2. Does that mean anything to anybody? There is no film in it, but let's, we have sound effects in here today. Oh my God. 
I keep rolling over this one lone piece of bubble wrap on my floor. Also, I am now noticing this, which, oh my god, this has to be from high school, honestly. I am a person, I have always loved masking tape. I would do this all throughout high school. Like, my, oh my god, I wish I had these shoes. Do you see why I can't ever get rid of anything? Because then I just spend like the next 20 years kicking myself mentally over getting rid of such a wonderful national treasure. But I used to have these chunky, like I know that I got them at some point in the 90s and then I just wore them continuously throughout my entire life, but they were these chunky black heels and I wore them so much that the chunky heel started to separate from like the foot part of the shoe and I masking taped it together just like this and I wore a masking taped together shoe all throughout high school just living living my fantasies cool pics uh 3100 what does that mean my god um we do have a viewfinder on this one how much fun would it be to take some crazy photos on this. Is there a memory card in here? Oh my god. What kind of memory card is this? Look at this. It's so chunky. Oh my god. Copyright 99. <laughs> SanDisk. Look at the compact flash. Does Amazon sell away? For me to import this onto my current computer. I'm cringing thinking about what's on it, but Oh boy. Uh, up next, we have my dark room tongs. I miss these. Are you guys regretting you clicked on this video now that I'm just showing you tongs? Look, I'll pinch your nose if you get close enough. We also have, oh my God. <gasps> oh, is this gonna work on this? Canon Rebel. It's like the shutter. It was not wireless back in the day. It was like you connect it and then you push a button like so. This is so, you, ew, why is everything in here sticky? Oh my God, do you guys know how like plastic if you leave it alone too long? It's probably cause it was in storage at one point so it probably got hot and then cold or I spilled soda on it, you know, 20 years ago, either way. It's sticky now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh, look at what I have here. I have my own expired film. Now this didn't expire in the 90s. Oh, this is black and white film. Black and white and color. So this one expired in 2006. So very, very fresh there. This one expired in 2008. And this one expired in 2009. Ooh, in its prime. Um, that one's only a decade old. Let's see here. I also have, oh my God, this was like, oh, it feels like it still has batteries in it. Why did I think that was gonna turn on? This is the thing that I used to use. It like lights up when it has working batteries in it. Probably has just covered in battery acid. That's probably what the stickiness is, if I'm being honest. You would thread your negatives through here and it's like your own personal little light box so that you could see what the negatives are. Like if you wanna make your own print or not, the power is in your hands. Okay, so I have a bunch of these. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? I felt like there was something where I would buy empty canisters like this and then roll my own negatives into it. Is that a fever dream? Did I just make that up? I'm also seeing some canisters here. It's gonna be very exciting to see. These are just like undeveloped, you guys. Oh my God, I saw this service online actually through Urban Outfitters. It's called The Dark Room and it's a place where you can send in um, old like found film. Ooh, it's another, um, this looks like just regular Fuji color. I don't know when this expired because I took it out of the thing. This is just an expired film haul. Here is just an empty canister. Very fascinating. And then we have these, which I literally need to go back to school because I wish I remembered how to use all of these like lens. Well, it's not that hard to use them. I do remember you just like screw them on, but I don't 100% remember like what effect. Well, it actually just tells you with and without. Why do I make everything so complicated? This one sounds like a little, 
Is it meant to be doing that? Probably not. So I have, it looks like an assortment. Ooh, I thought that this one was so cool. Six cross screen. So it's another like little lens cover, but if you try and like shoot, like where lights are coming off, it's gonna make this like star pattern. Does that make any sense at all? It looks like this is just a green filter. Ooh, made in France. Very fancy coking. I think you just like held that in front of the lens. So it looks like we have a red filter. See, I used to go to this awesome place called Houston Camera Exchange all the time. And they would just have these like old used lens effects. What are these called? And I would just buy them for like, most of these say like $7. Ooh, special effects. What if I put it on this? Does that do anything? No, <laughs> nothing. Let's try. Wait, where was the red one? I was gonna hold it up in front of the... Oh, oh here it is, here it is. Let's get red vision. Wait, did I never use this one? It's like surprisingly closed. Whoa, oh, that... Do we like that? I look very angry. I don't even know what this is. Hoya close up set. Is this like a lens or what is this going to do? Can I, oh, it's like in a fancy little <gasps> pocket. Wow. See, that's what happens, folks. If you don't use your brain, you lose your brain. What is this gonna do for us? Did that do anything? Do I look closer? Okay, maybe it just doesn't work on like Fancy new cameras. You know what I hope I find in here is a fish island lens. I miss those. Ooh, more film, folks. This one is unshot. I'm glad I didn't buy any on Etsy because clearly I have enough of my own expired film. It would be cool to get some like expired in the 80s though. What is that gonna look like? Ooh, more shot footage. I keep wanting to say I need to get revealed. <laughs> you guys, um, expired. I wish that they said the date on the actual, but just like, you know, carbon dating the entire bag. I would have to say it probably expired in the early 2000s. Ooh, this one expired in 2010. I don't know what brand. Ilford? We have some loose batteries in here. Now we have one loose battery in here. I have this. Gosh, you guys. I'm glad, I'm glad I have some, also this has like some kind of crusty dusty on it. So I'm sure it's gonna make beautiful pictures. Ooh, what is this? Memory stick adapter. What do you wanna bet this is not gonna work on any modern technology? Look at that. I don't know why I love stuff like this. Just old defunct technology. More film, place your bets now, folks. Is it gonna be expired and unshot? or shot. It is unshot. It does have this like, I don't remember film having this like bluish grayish look to it though. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, anything will shoot at all. Also, I found my lens cap on this cute little keychain. Why do I love that so much? See, I've always loved stuff like this, like lanyards. Wow. Um, I should come out with lanyard merch. That would be amazing and probably very useful. Look, I found another Ew, what the heck is that gonna do? Oh my gosh, it makes me look stuck in a dream. Hello, it's me from your dreams. Um, you're gonna win the lottery. That's the kind of stuff I would say in dream. What is this? Just a smudge. <laughs> fun. That is a very fun effect. Um, what is that? Nothing. Sometimes when I'm like halfway done with filming a video, I'm like, why did I think anyone in the entire world would care about this? I also don't know. Wait, I remember you like slid this halfway down and you could like block off part of the frame, which now, do you ever feel like sometimes you just like, they require you to get stuff for like classes to learn how to do something, but you'd probably never use that Again, in real life, I feel like that's what this little plastic thing is. I also just found a cord. What are we gonna do with that? And I found a lens, which is all sealed up in here. 
Oh my gosh, Tamron for Canon AF. This is Canon AF. Um, look at that. It's like, can you guys see like the thin layer of chum? I'm not sure. I don't know what this is gonna be. Aspherical. I know you're not ever supposed to open that. Ooh. See, I remember I would like do like manual stuff like that when I shot with this camera instead of just like digital, all digital everything. I thought that maybe there would be some of my old prints in here. And uh, I thought we could maybe have a whole yeehaw laugh about that. I think this is just like a additional shoulder strap. It's looking like everything is empty because this pocket just held the lens. It's like, it doesn't go all the way down. There's like nothing in the front. There's still like the, the actual paper there in the front. Now I'm inspecting the side pockets. I don't even know what that is. It's like a ring, a ring wrapped in plastic. That's fun for the whole family. Nothing, ew. Nothing, a piece of paper, ew. The spacer for the bag. Wow. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry if my energy got a little poopy and droopy about halfway through. I felt like I just started like digging and becoming engrossed in like the next sticky mysterious item I would find in the bottom of this bag that like, I don't know. It's like almost like sometimes halfway through a video, do I forget that I'm filming? Anyway, I am very excited. I feel like today's video was a big success because now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight? I felt like there was nine. Eight? Is this eight? Eight? Well, I can count to eight. Ha ha ha. Um, eight rolls of uh, variously expired film. In Seven rolls of variously expired film that I can shoot three rolls that I think that I should send in to get developed as like a part two to this video. And then this is definitely just an empty canister. If anybody remembers what this is for, I can almost remember myself like winding <laughs> film into this, but definitely like in comparison to like, oh my God, I do have nine rolls, nine rolls of film. You guys, if I could count, I'm sure my productivity would just <laughs> increase by double. I said increase by half. Oh, do I need a nap? It's very overcast today, so I think the sun just like sucked my brain out of my head. In comparison to these that are like full of film and then sounds like the inside of my brain right now. I'm very, very excited about that. You guys, I am very glad to maybe just see, I don't know how like into shooting a film camera that I'm gonna be like, it, am I really gonna pick this back up as a hobby? I don't know. I know some of you guys think that maybe I'm like a boring, changeless person, but I swear it's like, do you see what I'm saying? Past lives, okay? Uh, Cause it's almost like I was just like born the person that I am today in some regards. Like I feel almost as if like I, I never really had to maybe be one of those people that like you grow up and like you discover what kind of person you're gonna be or what kind of interests you have. I feel like I was just born with the same interests more or less that I have now of like fashion, photography, makeup, Halloween, all things morbid and creepy. I love the Crypt Keeper when I was three. I love the Crypt Keeper today. So I feel like um, as the years go by, I just sort of like recycle my favorite things to do. And honestly, I mean, I've never really stopped with the cameras. I feel like just instead of, um, you know, like film shooting, I've been doing digital. I'm kind of excited to get back into this. I don't know if there is even like a place where you can go to a dark room. That sounds so silly, but I feel like back in the day when this was like more prevalent and obviously when I was going to college, I was taking a lot of photography classes and I know the local community college had a dark room where you literally could kind of introduce yourself and sign up for dark room times. Like you didn't even really have to be a student out there. I bet they discontinued things like that obviously now. Cause I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there would just be like all kinds of 
weird stuff, obviously, which could unfortunately happen. But back when I was a kid and I walked five miles in the snow both ways to school, uh, that's the kind of weird, weird stuff that we were doing all the time. I feel like this year I want to kind of like get back in touch with and like rekindle some of my passions that I really do have. Like I want to try my hand this year at making some kind of clothing. I used to do that all the time. I would go to the thrift store and basically buy like raw materials. Like I would just buy fabrics and stuff that I liked and then deconstruct those garments and reconstruct them into something else out of my imagination. But I'm gonna be honest, like especially the past like five or six years probably, I have been so heavily work focused and work obsessed that I really have not allowed myself for any kind of time to just like decompress and just do a hobby just for the sake of doing it. Like not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna make this into a video or I'm gonna post this on Instagram or like something like that. Like I've never just like sat down and embroidered something like literally just to embroider it. The closest time would probably be like a couple of years ago, I did like crochet a blanket, but that was probably three years ago at this point. And I don't think I've done just like another like crafting type thing or hobby type thing just to do it. So we're gonna do that this year. I do have a slight confession to make. I've never posted anything. You know what? I wonder if Instagram like deleted this account because I did like last year when everybody was doing like the disposable accounts. I think I, I think I came up, yeah, oh my God, bunny disposables, 21 followers, you guys. So I don't know if you guys want to follow um, this crazy Instagram account that I created last year. You know what, why don't I just type it on the screen like a normal person, normal person. Yeah, bunny disposables. Do you ever have comments that just stick in your mind? Cause like when I did that life update a week ago, somebody was like, just have a kid already. It's the normal thing to do. I'm like, when have I ever done anything normal in my entire life? I don't think in my last couple of lives have I done anything normal? So I doubt that I'm gonna start now. But anyway, if you wanna follow my like disposable account, it is embarrassing like I did. <coughs> oh my God, I'm talking so much, I'm choking. You guys, I'm still not 100% over my cough, which is fun. Um, um, anywho's, I actually bought a um, disposable film, like some disposable film cameras to start shooting at Disney World last year. But, um, I didn't finish it. I, I like shot half a camera. See, I think I need to lower my standards and just live life because I started being one of those people where I'm like, oh, like if I don't think a lot of people are gonna like this or like, I don't think it's gonna be really good. I just like, don't do it. I've had such a mental block, which we talked about punching mental blocks in the face. So I think I'm just gonna start shooting film and see what kind of pictures come out. I remember this used to be like such an icebreaker for me in college, like especially when I was like living, wow, maybe if I take the lens cap off, um, when I was living in Dallas and I had um, like no friends, I do just remember this was like a great icebreaker because I would just walk around campus and be like, can I shoot your picture? Which now I'm realizing is so weird. You just have like some wacko person get in an elevator with you and be like, can I take your picture? Like, okay. Um, also, is this broken or am I just not, you? can you guys see this? Probably not. It's like, hi, there's my mouth. Um, just look, it looks, it looks a hell of a lot clearer. I'm gonna be honest, through the camera but there's just this like sort of high. Um, I'm sorry for bumping into you, how rude. Uh, there's just sort of this like dark haze. So this is gonna be exciting. I don't even remember how to load a camera. I almost just said, let's do that together, but obviously this has no batteries in it. Oh, it does. <laughs> Old batteries. It's gonna be so fun to like track all this stuff down on Amazon today. Anyway, I feel like now I'm just talking and wasting your time. You'd probably like to go 
If you haven't gone already, have you gone already? Are you still here? Leave me a comment that says, I'm still here, if you're still here. And I know, I know it seems like I'm comment baiting. Uh, I'm only halfway comment baiting. I'm actually not. I'm, I'm just really genuinely curious how many people do like to stay here for the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> anyway, no matter how long you spend time with me today, thank you so, so much for being here, for being you, and for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys again very, very soon. But until I do, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye! Also, it would be so fun if I could actually find some of my old pictures that I shot and developed. Maybe we can dig that up somewhere too. Okay, anyway, bye.